On March 2nd, Texas Governor Greg Abbott preemptively declared victory over the coronavirus pandemic when he decided to lift all of his state's restrictions on COVID-19. Yes, including the mask mandate. Yeah. However, now all of a sudden he's really concerned that there might be another surge in COVID-19 cases, including in his state of Texas. And no, it's not because he's concerned that the result of his policies might lead to more cases. There's a different reason why all of a sudden he's seemingly concerned with COVID-19 cases in his state. And now the Biden administration is importing COVID into the state of Texas, yeah. exposing more Texans to that. And who knows on what we're going to see, whether or not there will be uh, an explosion of COVID in the locations uh, where the Biden administration is putting these migrants. So now he's really concerned about COVID-19. He's really concerned that we might see a surge in new cases. All because now, conveniently, he can blame brown people for the surge in cases who are coming to America because we destroyed their countries. It's not because of him lifting the mask mandate and reopening Texas 100%. As he puts it, brown people are coming here and they're spreading disease. And that's why there's a surge in cases, not because of my policies that I chose to implement unilaterally as governor. Hey, Greg, you're telling on yourself here. It's honestly shocking how brazen they are. The second you can scapegoat immigrants for something, even the result of your own harmful policies, you still choose to do it. And because of his policies, cases will go up in Texas, but of course he's not gonna blame himself or his own policies. He'll blame immigrants and then he'll say, look, I told you so, I told you that as a result of immigrants, cases are gonna surge in Texas and now look. But prior to his easing of COVID-19 restrictions in his state, the CDC warned that we could see a fourth wave of cases due to new variants and because states are lifting restrictions too early, including his state. And because many states, including his state, have decided to lift all restrictions, we are now on the cusp of another surge. And guess what? It's not because of immigrants. As Andrea Germanos of Common Dreams explains, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention Director Rochelle Walensky said Monday that the nation was at a fork in the road in determining the trajectory of the coronavirus pandemic and warned of another avoidable surge of COVID-19 cases as states loosen pandemic-related restrictions. The apparent leveling off of cases in hospital admissions after the consistent declines we saw in these outcomes in early January through the end of February, I consider it to be very concerning, Walensky said at a White House press briefing. While COVID-19 deaths are in decline nationally, they remain at elevated levels, she said. Walensky also expressed concern that regions, including the Northeast and the Upper Midwest, are beginning to again see a significant rise in cases. These factors should serve as a warning sign for the American people, said Walensky, adding that some states' is loosening of restrictions amid the spread of coronavirus variants and a still high level of cases is a serious threat to the progress we made as a nation. So it's outrageous. You lift COVID-19 restrictions, which will inevitably result in a new surge in cases in your state, but you're already blaming immigrants for that. Unbelievable. Well, I, I shouldn't say it's unbelievable because it's entirely predictable, but it's just, it's a little bit surprising, even for someone like me who knows the way that Republicans operate, for them to be so shameless in the way that they're trying to scapegoat immigrants. If we see a surge in new cases, it is directly because politicians in America have never taken this seriously. In the state of Florida, they've never taken it seriously. Ron DeSantis quite literally instituted a ban on mask mandates. So that way, if a local government chose to enact their own mask mandate, they wouldn't be able to actually implement it because there'd no way be no way for them to enforce that. <sighs> If there's another surge in cases in the state of Texas, nobody should allow Governor Greg Abbott to get away with blaming anyone but himself. A surge in new cases is not the result of immigrants. It is the result of bad policies by Republican governors who couldn't care less about their citizens because they care more about business interests than the lives of human beings. So do not let him lie and obfuscate. This won't be the result of immigrants. You don't get to scapegoat immigrants. This is the result of your failed policies. To not even have a mask mandate is so irresponsible and reckless. Wanting to reopen, that's one thing. 
But if you wanted to reopen safely and you actually cared, you would at least make sure that you have a mask mandate so you can at least reopen somewhat safely. But he doesn't care. He sees an opportunity to blame brown people for his state's problems, so he's going to do just that. Why? I think that's pretty obvious. I think that's pretty obvious. It's because Greg Abbott is a racist piece of shit.